Hi. I am Hannah. I am a junior from North Platte. It doesn't have to be a stranger. It doesn't have to be a grocery store parking lot late at night when you're alone, distracted, checking your phone to answer texts from your mom about when you'll be home, unaware you weren't even going to make it to your car before he grabbed you. It doesn't have to be a dark alley or an unfamiliar house you're at just for a party. It doesn't have to be someone twice your age and half a foot taller than you, some criminal lurking around a corner. It doesn't have to be violent for it to be real. It doesn't have to be a stranger. He wasn't. He was my best friend, someone I trusted not to hurt me. It doesn't have to be a stranger. I think most often it's not. I think most victims are girls like me, afraid to speak, afraid no one would listen, no one would believe our side of the story. It doesn't have to be a stranger because strangers don't know how to convince you to come inside when no one else is home, don't know how to guilt you into staying, don't make you scared to push back when they grab you, when they hold you down, when they get on top of you, because you aren't afraid to hurt a stranger like you're afraid to hurt your best friend. He didn't tell me that afterward I would drive my car with shaking hands three blocks away before letting myself pull over and cry. He didn't tell me how disgusting I would feel. He didn't tell me the prayers my mom said over me at night wouldn't make me feel safe anymore. He didn't tell me about the fear that would rise up in my throat and choke me every time I saw him after that. He didn't tell me the butterflies I used to feel in my stomach would morph into something ugly that tears up my insides and fills me with dread whenever I'm alone with someone. He didn't tell me it would make me ashamed of myself, make me think that God wouldn't love me anymore. The only thing he told me was not to tell his girlfriend not to ruin his life by letting people know. What about my life? Or am I just overreacting, like I hear the guys at my school say, that consent is just a funny word girls use to make themselves feel better afterward. Because if she really didn't want to, then she shouldn't have been there. They echo the words of the politicians on my TV screen who brush off accusations of rape as nothing more than publicity stunts, as if women wanted that to happen to them, as if rape and sex mean the same thing and they were just being dramatic. Maybe he felt this way too, that consent doesn't matter. Because I said no, I pushed him away, but it didn't change his mind. It only changed his grip on me. It doesn't have to be a stranger, and he can't accept that. He can accept that an apology sent over text eight months later won't make me forgive him. He can accept that sending me old pictures of us doesn't make me miss him, it makes me sick. He can't accept that just because he knows I wrote this poem about him doesn't mean he's entitled to hear it. He can't accept that a guilty conscience doesn't change what he did.